Hello everyone, La13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome to Rune Factory 5. This first aired on my Twitch channel, which I'm going to have a link for down in the description below as well. But enough talking, let's get into it. I should go um, get the other thing. Did I accidentally sell my good sickle? No. Cool. Much better that way. Ooh, and there's boxes over here for me. Nice, nice, nice. I will take all of those. Well, all in all, not that bad. And yeah, as long as I hit Studio Palmo before it hits uh, 6 p.m., I should be good. Take these. Break the boxes. Ooh, an apple. I could give that to Terry instead of putting it away. Especially since it seems to mostly be a chemistry ingredient. Super Mario Kart, welcome on in! I hope that you're enjoying our uh, playthrough of Rune Factory. I still haven't figured out who I'm romancing, though. I'm kind of up in the air. Right. Ooh, loving your emotes. Right. A very kind tip of the hat to you as well. Ooh. Just hope that I can just... Are you, Red, are you sure you're okay? Because, like, it's raining and you don't do well against water. <laughs> Appreciate the smiley face, too. All right, now we should be able to get the last of the signatures from Riker and Palmo. Yeah, really. And, like, that's the thing. She's, like, super weak against water. It's not even, like, a little bit. Okay, no, she's 10%, not super weak. I was wrong. <laughs> so, not that bad. But she heals when she gets hit by fire, which is kind of nice. I also don't trust her yet to do any yard work, but hey. Yeah, I named her Red, because I thought that was, like, the cutest thing. <laughs> that I could possibly have chosen to name her. Right? Oops, burn the crops. So far, the people I've got working on my crops are... I got mulberry here, the sheep. I have a <laughs> fake green pepper <laughs> that waters my, my plants. You would think that Moo Moo would be the one also watering my plants. No, Mimic is. Mimic is the one that waters my plants. Also, Gato over here has razor blades for her hands, so I also don't trust her to water my crops by any means sorry not sorry at that moment yeah really <laughs> like you should have known man I'm a fire type what more do you want from me hey Riker Papillion I uh, need you to sign something Can you please pretty please uh sure whatever uh so where do I gotta sign it at the bottom if you haven't read it yet but you haven't read it yet, have you? He's not going to... It's terms and conditions. He's not going to read it. Oh, I uh, totally did. I can speed read, you know. I believe that he can, actually, at night. But during the day, I don't think so. You've definitely got quality work in the pet yeah. department. Uh, no, it's fine. I was reading Riker's sass. Yeah. It's... They don't let me necessarily, like, I have a limited number of snoozes I could do on the ads, too, which is weird. And I just saw a thing the other day that they're starting to roll out three minute long ads. And I'm like, I already feel guilty when I run, like, a minute and a half, let alone a three minute ad. I'm not going to play with that. Like, if anything, I'm making mine, like, the 30 second ones. Anyway, I'm busy right now. See you later. But, yeah, uh, I think Mimic is perhaps my most interesting pet. Like, Mulberry and Moo Moo here give me, give me, uh, like, wool and milk. You would think that Peep would give me some peppers. Peep does not give me peppers. Peep is very effective, though, at watering my plants. Uh, and then Mimic... When these... All of these guys can also be used in combat situations... 
Um, Mimic shoots water out of it and then occasionally throws swords. Or shuriken. Which I think is hilarious. <laughs> oh, I should go get the... Um... Yeah, I should go get the bamboo so I could sell that. Thank you. Yes. I'll be taking those. And as for the people I'm tempted to date... So... I think I'm going to save Fuka or Priscilla for my own playthroughs. But my big three... Well, now four. Is Martin, Morikumo, Reinhardt, and Lucas. Lucas intrigues me. Because Lucas thinks he's a god. Not like he has a god complex. He's just like, I shouldn't be able to do magic of this caliber as a human. And I have no memories otherwise, so I'm just going to roll with it. You've got the brooding loner thing here. You got the jock here. And then you've got, like, the super goody two-shoes guy. That is also, like, very dedicated to his work, but also ripped. And I just don't know. Oh yeah, I haven't seen Simone in a while. Yeah, he intrigues me so much. I... I just recently met him. I haven't re met the... The last chick, the fairy looking person. I know that she exists, but. Hey, Palmo, could you read this and sign at the bottom, please? Pretty, please. Yeah, Good God, ma'am. <laughs> Elegant ill elation. What a stunningly simple document. A plain white field decorated only with a few streaks of pitch black ink. Honey, this this isn't fine art. It's it's bureaucracy. It goes from rote from rote. I don't. I've never heard that word. It goes from rote and uninspiring, all the way to back around, all the way back around to artistically evocative. Normally, dude, I can read your stuff no problem. Today, I'm having a problem. It seems. Um, could you just please sign it? Thank you. Oh, yes, that's right. Scribbly, scribbled, scribbly do. Did you actually sign it or did you scribble it? Uh, he wrote his name in such big letters that it's popping out of the box on every side. It, he's eccentric like that, Gwen. Did you really expect him to do any less? Never stay inside the lines. Always think outside the box. That's my motto. Uh, -huh. uh wait, can he hear my thoughts? Phew. That's the last of the guys. I hope I better go meet up with Cecil. Yeah, in my personal playthrough, I think I'll probably try to date Priscilla. I have another account or another recording thing. Oh, I should talk to you. Um, and Priscilla definitely will be on my list in my, my own time. But I personally want... Priscilla and Lucy to get together. I think they would be absolutely adorable as a couple. And there's a part of me that thinks that Reinhardt and um, Martin would make an interesting couple. But that that's just me. Drippy daily greetings. All this rain certainly puts a damper on my mood. Bravo, Gwen. May I offer you my heartiest congratulations for completing a most difficult mission. Everyone else is concerned that I'm having a mental breakdown, but okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, your eyes went white, dude. No matter where you may roam, the bonds that bind us shall never be broken. I am terrified of that image. Um, what kind of story did Palmo hear? I should actually talk to you, though. Should I? Should I renovate? I should renovate. I should renovate something. Um, okay, I can add monster barns to the rest of these. I just want to add a room to this one. I don't know if this is going to lock me out of the other ones anyway, but it's fine. I have two other dragons if I do. Find everything you need and 
find a few things you did. Thank you. Feel free to feast your eyes on our more fantabulous furniture. Uh, I'm gonna just talk to you, thanks. <laughs> oh, happy days. My fortune said that today will be the worst day ever. I hope this means that you're excited that you're getting the worst day of your life out of the way and also intrigued to see what the worst day of your life will be while simultaneously knowing that no other bad day is going to ever happen to you again? Tell me that's what this means. And you're happy about that? There's nothing worser than the worst. Which means things can only get better and better. It's all uphill from here. I don't know if you're using that uphill statement right, but yes, I'm with you. I'm very excited for you. Hey, Riker. Welcome. We've got furniture for sale if you want any. Uh, yeah, I should look at the furniture. Furniture, huh? Where should we deliver it? Actually, send it to my dragon. Save myself the time. Uh, which farm dragon? The earth one, please. Welcome. Right, I have no money to do anything. Um. Oh, come on, you can't afford Thanks. that. Just tell me that I need the the thing. Uh -huh. I want to be able to just take the the exams or whatever. It's fine. I'll be able to afford it tomorrow. Hey, dude. Oh yeah. Um, I should go do things though before I uh, meet up with you, Cecil. So that this way, I have stuff just kind of working out. Uh, are you in the diner? Yeah, you seem that way. I'm leaning towards Morikubo for this. Just because he was the first one that I kind of drooled over a little. Ooh. Oh, that's not the thing. Hey, you know what? I should do the other ones first. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, I should... I should turn in the other quests that I did, but... Can I realistically, knowing that I'm not part of Seed right now? I don't know. I mean, I probably can. Like, actually can, but... Narratively, do I want to? I mean, I could still do requests on the request board. I guess. Um, nope, okay. Hey, look, there's Cecil. Maybe I could go talk to him. <laughs> All right, let's sell this off. Yeah, I get a thousand bucks tomorrow. Sending you, and you, and you. All of you. You guys, you, and you. Okay. I should... Nope, no, no. This is what I wanted. Thank you. There we go. Much better. And now I can break this. Nope. One, two, three. And... Nope, nope, put that away. Toss in all of that. I should make a few more things. Um, do a long sword. Yeah, what is the cyclone blade? What do I need for that? Gold? Jesus Christ. Okay, so I can make up to five of this, is what I'm seeing. I think so. Thank you. I should go sell those. Literally, I just have so much iron, I just need to get rid of it. But I do want to increase my forging skill, so it just makes more sense for me to keep it. Oh, yeah. Um, so if I drink this heart thing, is it going to heal me or just increase my max health in general? 
Um, okay. One, two, three, four. Eh. Just gonna put you out of the way over here. Trying to break it down by uh, people. Okay. Did I, did I, I didn't even buy turnip seeds. I spent literally all of that money and did not buy turnip seeds. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's, it's okay. And equip. And equip. Cool. That worked out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and store those for now. All right. We're going to send our girl back downstairs, have her make some healing potions to sell. Oh, I should drop the weeds off first. And then actually I can go give a apple to Terry while I'm at it. Because Terry likes apples, so. And I don't have a super high friendship rating with him anyway. So I should do something about that. Okay, you go here. Um... Put that there. You go here. Cool. Much better. And chemistry set. Mix some medicine. Uh -huh. Recovery potion. Oh, good. Now two costs 360. Good. Much better that way. And that means that my chemistry leveled up. Save it. There we go. Okay, so let's go give this apple to Terry to make him happy. Hey, Terry. I got stuff for you. And a teleporting fairy as well. Oh. Can I? No. Yes? Oop, that's the map. That, that's my bad. Hey. I'll uh, go ahead and just give you this. Here you go. Thanks. I can always use this stuff while on the job. Well, I'm glad that you liked it. I knew that you would potentially like... You said, like, 30 seconds ago you like apples, so... Happy I could give you something that would make you happy. And Fuka's really cute. <laughs> I kind of really just want to date Fuka, but... I've, like, put so much effort into trying to date Morikumo at this point that I feel like I just want to commit. Just, just to see. Hey, <laughs> right, my glasses. Um, what? Did you just round them all up? Suddenly? Uh, <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna choke on my own spit. Never mind me. Ugh. Okay. No. My Selene is still passed out. Oh, he just grabbed his face. Sorry. Cat moment. Had had to be had to be super cute. Granny Yuki, how's your back? Your shoulders aren't stiffening up too badly, are they? Oh god. Oh, after that massage you gave me, I feel right as rain. 
Great, glad to hear it. Just let me know if it ever starts bothering you again. From massages to mysteries, no jobs are too small for me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, dearie. You're always such a big help. Oh, uh, but if it gets really bad, don't come to me. You ought to go see Simone and have her check it out. Wisely said, Cecil. I've just confirmed an appointment for a physical examination with her. Just don't give her any funky medications, okay? As a ranger, I ask that you only administer medicines confirmed to be safe and effective. How rude. I might prescribe her a new painkiller, but that's just it. Uh, there's no need to worry. We all know that you're a reliable, trustworthy doctor, and also our mayor, right? Well, oh, well, uh, you've certainly grown into a well-behaved young man, Cecil. All right, my treatments are safe for human consumption. All my treatments are safe for human consumption. Not that I was just admitting to anything. Um, although only my... Although, with only myself to test them on, I'm always left a tad concerned about a small sample size. That's a very good point, and I really should test out your medications for you, honey. Huh. The case of the too small sample size. No, that's not what that... Okay. Don't worry, doctor. I'll find a solution to that mystery for you someday. Just get volunteers. If you don't mind, I would gladly volunteer as... Princess, I would not. Uh, no, Beatrice, no. Uh, Simone may be a top-rate physician, but that doesn't mean you should push your luck. Yeah, especially if you like all your organs where they are. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Cecil fits right in with their gossip group. Heck, he's practically running the whole rumor mill. <laughs> what a great communicator. I could learn a lot from him. I mean, sure, if that's how you want to phrase that. Hey, Cecil. Ah, hi, Gwen. Mission complete? Yeah. Great, let's go back and report to Captain Livia. Uh, my apologies. Normally that would be my duty. Nah, it's okay. I'm sure you were busy with other work. And technically we were just doing busy work that the field captain specifically designated to keep you occupied. Right? Cool. Um, I haven't talked to you today, have I? Hello. Listening to the sound of the rain makes everything else seem pointless. Welcome. Uh, I'm just here to talk. Uh, the pillow Misiagi lent me is full of grass. It makes it even harder for me to get my beauty sleep. You should get, like, one of those, uh, pillows that cost, like, 130 bucks or something. Like, not that I'm advocating that you need to spend a whole lot of money on a pillow, but I definitely invested in getting, like, a more expensive pillow than I normally would. And I have zero regrets. It's beyond comfortable. I'm very happy with my life for it. Just throwing that out there. I'm not dropping names till they sponsor me, but I'm just saying. <laughs> and they do tend to sponsor YouTubers, so maybe they'll sponsor me. I don't know. All right, Captain Livia. Captain Livia, we've completed our mission. Uh, mission? You remember collecting signatures for the town meeting sign-up sheet? Oh, right, right, that. Uh, thanks. Yes, good work. Very good. Well done, both of you. Huh? Uh, Cecil, I don't see any signatures on your half. What? Ah, oh, turnips. I got so caught up in chatting with everyone, I completely forgot. Uh. I'm so sorry. I'll go get them right now. Well. Huh? Hey, wait a sec. What's wrong? I thought something up. Was up. The date for this drill is the sixth Friday of the month. <laughs> 
So, you finally noticed. Huh? Now that wasn't nice, setting it on a day that doesn't even exist. Wait. <sighs> well, Cecil was starving for something to do, so I create a little activity to occupy him. Then the whole emergency preparedness drill was a joke. <laughs> Not bad for an impromptu assignment, if I do say so myself. Oh, so it was all a joke. Then I just went around telling everybody a lie? Um, I'll have to go apologize to them. I guess we actually got to hold the drill now, huh? Jeez. Sure looks that way. Cecil, so as to honor your trust and not make you a liar, I promise that we will hold a town meeting. Thanks. Wow, really? Thanks, Captain Livia. Also, I'll make you a promise. I'm going to finish my mission to collect everyone's signatures. You can count on me. Counting on you. Excellent. I leave it to you. Well, I'm not ready to talk to you about it yet. Um, not just yet. I've got other things on my mind. Uh, I still can't. Oh, yeah, what? Where am I at with this? I didn't finish the quest, did I? Oh, yeah, I have to go fight griffins. Those things suck. Um, harvest six kind of vegetables. Working on that. Okay, I'm up to five. And I'm not ready for, for that fight. Okay, let's see. I want to go... Is there another one for Morakumo? Let me look at the map. Okay, there's another one for Martin. There's one for, for Priscilla. One for Fuka. I want to go do Reinhardt's. I think Reinhardt's will be interesting. And I don't see any more for Morakumo, but I also haven't talked to Morakumo today. So I want to go talk to Morakumo real quick. Actually, no, I can talk to him after. Because it's about to be 6 o'clock and the shops are going to close, and that means that the quest is going to turn off. So, Reinhardt. What have you got? Not yet. Perhaps this one. Uh, no. What are you looking for? I'm glad I got rid of the squeaky shoes. Hi, huh? hey, Reinhardt. What's got you so distraught? Well? No. Oh, it's nothing serious. You needn't concern yourself. Is that so? Yeah, are you sure about that? Hey, Miss Yagi. Oh. He says as much, but he's been standing in front of that produce shelf for a while now, as if trying to work out a difficult problem. If you can't solve it yourself, perhaps you could simply ask for help. Oh, is he one of those people that's going to have a hard time asking for help? You should require some vegetable-related advice. Should you require some vegetable-related Advice, you need only to consult an expert farmer like Wen. I am decently good. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I could use a second opinion. Would you kindly share your wisdom with me, Gwen? Yes. Yeah, sure thing. What do you need? I'd like you to help me select the perfect vegetable. The, like, like there can only be one? Like, do we have to put all the vegetables into a ring and make them fight to the death? How? Perfect, perfect vegetable, there... There's a lot of really good... I've been eating vegetables all my life. I... There's different... They're all good, but in different ways. Spinach? I think spinach. Spinach goes on, like, everything. You could, you could do a lot with spinach. Um... Huh? Wait, that's it? Uh, yes. That's uh. it. Doesn't matter what kind of vegetable it is, a leafy one, or a root one, or... Any will do, as long as it's fresh and delicious. Well, that doesn't narrow it down much. Do you have any other info to give me? Like, what kind of meal you want to make, or anything? I will leave that to you as well. Uh, I will sim 
I simply wish to purchase the best vegetable I can find. How about a turnip? <laughs> there are a lot of turnips. God, not a cucumber. Of all of the ones you could suggest, not a cucumber. I mean, cucumber sandwiches are great. They're delicious. I don't really like cucumber that much. And let's be honest, there's a lot that can be left up to the imagination with cucumbers, and they scare cats. Like, you know, I just, just to throw that out there. Okay. <sighs> okay, well, what about this cucumber? Oh, I see. Hmm, might I ask what criteria led you to make that decision? Well, for one thing, it looks nice and fresh. I can bend it slightly to test its springiness, and check the end where the stem was cut off to make sure it looks healthy. So you can judge its freshness, and that freshness... Oh, never mind, that's his lines. Uh, so you can judge its freshness, and that freshness tells you about its taste. Well, yeah, the fresher the fruit and the fresher the vegetable, the better it's going to taste. That's actually why I want to try growing my own spinach. Is for the same reason, like, it's going to taste better. Right, as a general rule of thumb, vegetables with a bright or glossy color will taste good. And as long as they're like rich and dark in color, they're going to be more nutritious too, by the way. I appreciate your advice. Miss Yagi, I will take this cucumber. What are you going to make with it? Thank you for your business. Are you, tell me you're going to grill it. <gasps> oh, you can make a really good veggie lo mein with that. Please, please make a veggie lo mein. Thank you for your patronage. We hope to see you again soon. I'm glad that worked out, but why didn't he care about the type of vegetable? Yeah, that's a very good question. Okay. Let's go see Morokumo. Um, am I going to run into him again tomorrow? Something going to come up tomorrow. Reinhardt thanked me for advising him on how to select the perfect vegetable. But what did he mean by any will do? Yeah, yeah, that's... I'm concerned, too. I'm glad it's not just me. Hey, Morikumo. Yo! Evening to you! Hey, you're still kicking it this late? <laughs> Gotta welcome the guests at night, too, you know? Kicking it 24-7. Yeah, hey. Yo, I hear you're taking some time off from seed. How about you take a nice long soak and let the hot water wash those pesky worries away? Look, dude, you've been pushing for me to take one of your baths. I haven't done it yet. Hey, Gwen, good to see you. What can I do for you today? Uh, I just came to talk, actually. My inn's a branch of my parents. I'd love to make it more successful than theirs someday. I'm sure you could pull it off, Marakumo. <laughs> yeah, my dream is to have the best inn in the whole darn world, after all. <laughs> well, that, I mean, I'm proud of you for that. Who's got what for the who now? Okay, Lucy's up to a four, Scarlet's at two, Fuka's at three, Beatrice at two. Honestly, I should go fishing with Lucy at some point. I think that would be, that would be something fun. I'm curious what kind of weapon Martin would wield. He wields a hammer. That is not what I thought he would have wielded. For sure, he seemed to me like the broadsword, like the two-handed broadsword type. What's Fuka got? Gauntlets? Okay. Yeah, I knew she had double blades. Single blade. A staff. Okay. What about you, Riker? Double blades? Yeah. Thank you, you're like me. Wise. You're gonna have probably a staff of some kind. What would you have? <laughs> the pokey stick. Hey, she's got my sword. Yeah. Uh, wait, can I take Captain Livia places? No. Okay. Well, that's all good to know. Hina has back scratchers? Is that what I just saw? 
Oh my god, okay. Um... This... This is great. Alright. know what you think of my weapon. Hi, Martin. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps for today. I should, uh, summon up more RP. That's for sure. Like, use it up while I got it. Um. Let's see. Well, I can get rid of at least two of my healing potions. Because I literally have just so many. Oh, I should have given more Akumo the... The baked onigiri. I think I still will. Let's go back. And give it to him. Because he of anybody appreciates homemade food. Like the most. I'm also not sure what the best gift for Morikuma would be. Ooh, I could go fishing too. Ooh. Can my ear please stop itching? Oh, yeah, and I should probably go fishing because I need more stuff. I need more money. Um. Hey. I, I've got something for you. I hope you like it. Hey. Oh, is this for me? Thanks, I appreciate this it. Is... Hey, this thing's homemade. It has... Seriously, how happy are you trying to make Take me? This. You've given me a lot, so here. Ooh. I can use that as a crafting ingredient. What's my friendship like with you yet? Do I have more friendship? Hey, we're up to a four. Cool. Why do I do that? Just keep getting Martin's good side. Ugh, Okay. My ear itches, and I don't know why. Alright, if I just throw this out... Ooh, there's a white fish in here after all. I wish I could just turn on, like, a mode to aim my face. Come on. What did I get? A flounder. Ooh. I'm just gonna keep fishing. Easy does it. I wonder if they're just hard to see or if they're always there. I'm not quite sure. You're mine. Caught a needlefish. Biggest needlefish on record. Okay, I should go actually up to the. Oh! Hey. Good evening. Are you still working, Gwen? It's gotta be way past your bedtime. Priscilla's so awesome, she can make all kinds of yummy snacks really fast. Actually, I should fish for one more. Hopefully get something like mundane. Right? And then this way I can just give it to Fuka real quick. Come on. I caught a squid. I'm keeping that one. Screw that. I don't know what kind of fish, Let's though, I should give to Fuka. Hopefully just something basic. What, is it because it's 7 o'clock now? I'm not going to get any fish. Hope I see a little one. Ooh. Okay. You're mine. I got a turbo and the smallest one ever. Hey, wait. Wait, Fuka, I have something for you. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. it. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, take care of it. I gave it to you, made me to eat. Okay. I thought maybe you'd want to eat a food. Well, okay. It's a raw fish. Eh, maybe I should have given her a cooked fish. But now I have the, the knife ability. All I have is the oven. All right, Lake Melody. There. Might as well finish doing some fishing. I hope, get a bite. I hope so too, cause 
I'm trying to do this to drain my RP. After a little while, something should pop up, right? Isn't that just what happens when you fish long enough? Or am I wrong about that? Am I too close to the shore or something? There. Probably. Hope I get a bite. Yeah, let's just see how long before something cool shows up. Come on. Come on, fishies. Come on, fishies. There it is. Little guy. You're mine. I caught a shrimp. It's the biggest shrimp on record. Yeah, what I should do is I should go fishing with Priscilla at some point. I think she'd love to do like tag team fishing or whatever. Oh, wow, there's just fish chilling here. Cool. I couldn't quite see them. Squid. Biggest squid. Well, I'm glad that I got a squid out of that. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on. Come on. I want to drain my RP and go to bed. Mackerel. Okay. And also, fishing seems to be a good way to help me get money. I missed the big fish. It's fine. It's fine. I keep coming back to who I should date in this. Like, I put a lot of effort in with Morikumo. But also, Martin? Ooh, lamp squid. Cool, that's new. But also, like, it was really easy uh, getting on Martin's, like, good side. Come on, fishy. Come on. Come on. Uh, another needlefish. No, no, no. Pick, pick it up. Keep it. Please. Please keep it. There. Okay. Come on, fishy. I need money. No. Turbo. There. It's probably too late. That's probably gone. Yeah. Bye. Please stop running up to my feet. Yeah, just turn back around. Come back. Come back to it. No. Whatever. In a matter of time, a new one will just show up anyway. No. Rilla. Okay, let's catch this big guy and then we'll go, I guess, break some stuff. No, oh, never mind. He's like, yeah, I'll just catch the big guy and then we'll go break things. And then nothing, um, nothing, nothing I can write home about. Ooh, white fish. Oh, dang it. That was on me. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Ooh, ooh, big fish coming back. All right. Come on, big dude. Oh, no, a smaller fish is going to jump in. And a white. Oh, geez. Okay. Whoop. Got them back. There. Just keep, while well, they're all swarming the spot, keep going like crazy. Let's catch a big one. Come on. No. Man, they are all swarming. There. Come on, fish. Aww. I thought maybe I could still make it in time. It's fine. Might as well get this guy. Come on. Mackerel. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this away. And I guess, I don't know, just smash some stumps or something. Probably up on the back of the dragon. Ah, I could always... I could always go teleport to the fire dragon. Yeah. 
I haven't cleaned up here in a while, nor did I check on my animals here today. Which probably, in the grand scheme of things, isn't the smartest, but... Okay, gather everything up. Okay, nothing else new here. There we go. Just put that in. Let's get the rocks. Those can all go away. And we should be good there. Oop. Well, I think if I use like a Terra cri crystal or something like that, I could... Oh yeah, I should still totally go back to the Earth Dragon because I just upgraded the place, huh? Yep, didn't even consider that, but okay. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and stash these. This way I at least have something. Okay, the bamboo first. I will take that. All right. Sell it. And then there should be one more leaf thing here. Yeah, you. So, I should at some point in time go capture a griffin, but that's after I rejoin seed. Ooh, I should go brush the other creature first. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Go brush her first. Hey, Gato. One, two, three. Come on, Gato. Four, five. Okay, there we go. I don't need my sword out. Why am I using my sword? There we go. Let's get the rocks. Because I don't think I'm going to have the energy to be able to do everything. But if I can at least get the rocks cleared up. That'll give me a little something more to work with. Okay. I'm really glad that my stuff gives me, like, extra things now. That's for sure. Okay, let's see. And... We got it all. Okay. I might have enough to do this one. Yep, that was it. Well, I managed to get some stuff off of it. Um, let's return home. I could drop some stuff off. That's for sure. For sure, for sure. And then before I send her to bed, I got some other things I wanted to look at. Right, okay. So, squid. Do I not have flying squid? Is that not somewhere? I don't think so. Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and keep the squids. Uh, let me put the bug pincers in here. Yeah, that's the only thing that needs to stay. Oof. Neat. Do a power catch. Oh. Uh, I mean, it'll be there in the morning. Let's 
so I can just sell everything for the most part. Toss in that. Much better. Toss in everything I've got in here. And then we go up here. And check out the new part of the barn that I just got built. Right? Didn't I? Didn't I commission? Didn't I want something coming here? Yeah, an extra room. There we go. Yeah, but didn't I send... No, I was going to send a piece of furniture to my dragon, but I don't think I had the money. Well, I guess what I could do is I could take all of the the, like, building stuff and put it over there. <laughs> At least the cooking stuff. Like any of the storage stuff I should probably keep. You know, it's already midnight for my character. I should just let her go to bed. That's that's the executive decision I'm going to make there. Save it. There we go. We'll call it a day. Both in more ways than one. There we go. Okay, nothing new happened right when I started it up. But I'm also just going to go ahead and save it anyway. And I think actually that's where I'm going to be ending the stream. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Rune Factory 5. Take care everyone.